Hey, welcome back to Bait Squid. In this video, part one, we're going to be dealing with quadratic applications and particularly dealing with borders with uniform width. All right, coming up. So a gardener wants to install a gravel path of equal width around his lawn, which measures 18 meters by 12 meters. How wide can the path be if the total area, the lawn plus the gravel path, is 616 square meters? So I've just drawn a little diagram here to represent the lawn, which is this part in the middle, and then the gravel path, which is represented by this gray rectangle. Now the thing is, the, the path has to have an equal length and an equal width. So I could represent that by doing a little arrow here that represents x, and then the same um, distance on the other side, which also represents x. So the width of the path is equal on all four sides. Now I know from the question that the total area is 616 meters squared. So all of this, the entire thing, including the path and the lawn, is 616 meters squared. Now since area is equal to length times width, I can deduce that 18 plus the two x's because I've taken that the width of the path is x and so this is also x so 18 plus 2x is going to be the length and then the width is going to be 12 um, plus x and x so 12 plus 2x now I know that the area is equal to length times width. Since my length is 18 plus 2x and my width is 12 plus 2x, I can multiply those together. So step one is to expand. Um, 616 is equal to 18 times 12, 216. 18 times 2x, which is plus 36x. 2x times 12, which is plus 24x and then 2x times 2x, which is plus 4x squared. I can minus the 216 on the opposite side, and I can collect the like terms here. So that gives me 400, 616 minus 216 is 400. Collect the like terms give me 60x, and I'm left with the 4x squared. If I just rearrange this, I can write 4x squared plus 60x minus 400 equal to 0. ax squared plus bx plus c. And that's a standard form of writing a trinomial quadratic equation. So then moving on, we need to factorise this quadratic equation. What I can see straight away is that there's a common factor. Each one of these terms, 4x squared, 60x and minus 400, are all divisible by 4. So we can take out a common factor which leaves us with x squared plus 15x minus 100. Now I'm going to do the product sum. So the product is a times c and the sum is b, okay? So what I mean by a times c and b is if this is a standard form of writing a quadratic, then I have ax squared plus bx plus c. You know what, let's just pause there for a moment and let me just write down ax squared plus bx plus c. Now that's what I refer to as the standard form of any trinomial quadratic. So in this case, a is 1, because the coefficient of x squared is 1, and c is minus 100. So I'm going to get minus 100 as my product, and my b is going to be the plus 15. That's the coefficient of x. So I can write plus 15 here. So what I need then is two factors of minus 100 that multiply to give me minus 100, add to give me plus 15. So I'll tell you what they are. So a positive 20 times a negative 5 gives me negative 100. And then positive 20 plus negative 5 gives me plus 15. 20 minus 5 is 15. So those two work. So I can write plus 20 minus 5. So I'm going to use these two to factorize my quadratic, which gives me a common factor of 4, x plus 20 and then x minus 5 equal to 0, which means x plus 20 equals 0, therefore x is minus 20, or x minus 5 is equal to 0, which means x is equal to 5. So therefore the width of the path is 5 meters. So feel free to rewind the video and pause where you need to, um, and make sure you watch part 2 where I do a similar problem but with a little twist. I'll see you in the next one. 